Now, this match is for the BBW Fighting Championship. The winner is decided via knockout, submission, or referee stoppage. This match is sponsored by Desert Shark Productions. This is for the BVW Fighting Championship now. Winners decided via knockout submission or by referee stoppage. A pin or countout is off the table in this match. The concessions are overpriced. The opponent, the challenger, going for Really, his first time gold. He's representing makeshift chemistry, the bastard son, Noah Anderson, and out here with him is Fox and Rose, his other members of makeshift. Makeshift chemistry in the ring. He is the best shade thrower in the game. He is none other than the shade. Looking sparkly in his ring gear. Festive Christmas hat on there. Coming around the ring. Saying hi to the fans, taking a seat in the front row. He sat on somebody's lap. I don't know who it was, but whoever it was was a very happy fan. Oh, I think I know who it was. Crowd behind Shade. Two years ago, I called the Shade my wrestler of the year. And he did not disappoint me. Now, I hope this does not turn into a handicap match with all of makeshift chemistry out here. Shade now throwing the shade around the ring. You're twerking with kids? Shade holding up his belt. BBW Fighting Championship. You know, it's the ninth anniversary. You wouldn't expect anything less but to have titles on the line here. So it's been a great way to celebrate ninth anniversary show. Referee showing off the belt that's up for grabs. All right. Ring the bell. Here we go, and we are underway. Desert Shark Productions is the sponsor for this match. They'll have the uh, opportunity as the sponsor to hand the belt back to one of these combatants at the end of the match whenever that happens meantime no and shade john back and forth oh my talk about a sign of disrespect shade drops down for an easy split what a deep arm drag another one noah's gonna get schooled in this match you don't oh a huge splash in the corner shade off the ropes no my Noah met Shade with a huge right forearm, slowed him down quickly. But Shade is back with a big kick. Listen, Noah's going to be in for an education in this match, being in there with Shade. Referee now checking in on Noah. Again, no champion's advantage here. 
Noah was up on the shoulders of Shade while, while uh, Axel on the far side had the referee distracted. Makeshift chemistry pulled Noah off, his shoulder, off of Shade's shoulders. Now the referee now is looking at the rest of makeshift chemistry. Is he going to do it? Is he going to heave home? There we go. He wants him back in the corner, sending it back into the locker room. They're out of here. In the meantime, Noah is kicking a mud hole into Shade while he sends the rest of makeshift chemistry back, which I think is the right thing to do. Now Shade only has to worry about Noah right in front of him. Meantime, he's looking at him up close and personal in the corner as Noah's delivering forearms. And now Shade can see the size shoe that Noah's wearing as he's got his foot right under Shade's chin in his throat there. Referee breaks it up. Noah releases it. Reverse chop. Another one by Shade. Gets Noah backed up. Shade throws Noah into the opposite rope. Duck under by Noah. Flying. Close line by Noah, sends Shade down again. Referee giving. Referee is, in, is counting the 10 count because as in boxing, a 10 count is a knockout and that is one way that you, can, you have to win this match either by knockout, submission, or the referee says you've had enough. Noah showing a little disrespect towards Shade. Referee giving him a five count. He gets out at about four as he's applauding the ref's effort of counting. Noah with the right forearm into Shade. Shade now whipped into the opposite corner hard. Noah measuring up. Shade out of the way. Delivers an elbow that no one's there for. And Shade comes across with that flying forearm. Now Shade back again with a kick that connected. Shade now gaining a little steam. Oh, the landing swanton bomb. Whoa. Oh. Two. Thought for sure I saw Shade trying, well, he remembered the pin doesn't count here. It's a referee now counting on Noah. Four. Up to a four. Five. Up to five, Noah's draped over the second rope. Referee stops the count. Shade comes over to Noah. Shade has him up, has him over for a nice power slam. Shade now jumps over, goes to the rope. Cartwheel, but Noah catches a mid cartwheel with what looked like maybe a rake of the eyes. Referee checking on Shade. Noah comes over, gets Shade in the middle of the ring. Big elbow delivered by Noah. Noah mocking the Shade fans here. Noah now with the rear, looks like a rear chin lock. Referee up close to make sure. Well, I guess you could choke him out. That would be a stoppage or a 10 count, of course. But we say. <laughs> Hopefully, we wouldn't choke him out. I don't know if anybody has 911 on their speed dial, though. Shade back up to his feet. Shade with a jawbreaker from behind. Once you stand up, you break the leverage of holds like that. So, of course, again, the sign of a veteran. Shade now. To the corner, Noah sends him up and over. Blocks Noah's attempt here. Shade with the right forearm. Shoulder tackle. Up and over Shade. Shade to the far rope. Duck under by Noah. Noah with a huge double foot drop kick there. Noah now kind of catching his breath while the referee counts on Shade. It's up to a two count. He gets to 10. This match is over and we have a new champ. Behind Shade to give him some support to getting up and out. This is my moment, Shade. Now you're, you've already had. Now Noah talking smack to Shade, kicking Shade while he's down in the corner. Shade up on the buckle. Noah has him set up for a suplex, but Shade is blocking it. 
Shade with a couple of shots to the midsection. The headbutt sends Noah down to the campus. Campus, campus, gosh. I'm on campus here. Pinecrest Academy cadence here. Noah now climbing back up. Shade has double harm hook over. Oh, and a two. Oh, my goodness. A rolling suplex, who I'm going to call that, because Shade had him locked up. Turned him around. Now, referee's counting both guys down. He's up to a three count, I believe. There you go. Crowd getting behind Shade to try to get him some momentum. Gets up to a seven count. Noah's back up with a huge right elbow by Shade. Oh! Go behind. Single arm face first. Face first suplex, perhaps? Either way, Noah dropped face first. Now the referee's starting his ten count on both. Both combatants here. <laughs> to a five count. Shea can get back up to his feet first and the count will continue on Noah. Or vice versa for that matter. Noah stumbled trying to get back up. Shade now. We're up to eight. Shade now is up to his feet. If he gets to ten, he wins. He's up to nine. Noah drops, but the count had stopped once he stood up. And Noah has hook unders again, a double hook. Shade's trying something, but Noah blocks it. Going for, he was going for a neck breaker, but Shade stopped. What the heck happened there? I guess the referee got kicked again as Shade was kind of turning Noah around. Shade doesn't see that the ref is down, so there's no count. Shade has Noah up and down in a power slam. But with the referee down, here comes makeshift chemistry again. This is not good. The referee does not see makeshift chemistry. The, the makeshift chemistry rolls the referee out along with Noah. So that this way they can take control and beat the daylights out of Shade to the point where perhaps he can't continue. This is, I don't want to say it's illegal, but the referee's not there to see it. He can't stop it. Although I would think maybe a, a fill-in ref, if this ref is out cold, somebody's got to come in and take control of this match and do some 10 counts or something to see who's going to be out and about. But Shade is up to his feet. Black Rose doesn't see he's up. Shade now, oh, he catches both guys. He's got them both up. Fall away slam of makeshift chemistry. Now that was chemistry. They're both out of the ring. Shade collecting himself. Now comes Noah with a chair in his hand. Wait a minute, are you kidding me? He took a shot right to his back. Doesn't even affect him. With the referee down, Noah's trying something else, a kick. He steps under it, now gets the chair in his midsection. Oh no! The chair wedged under his throat, dropped down. The chair went right into the throat of Shane again. No referee in sight to be counting anything. Basically, Noah, oh, a short DDT right into the chair. Unfortunately, though, for Noah, no referee to count 10. What is going on here? Makeshift chemistry is outside the ring. Noah now bringing Shade over to the opposite turnbuckle. And now Noah's just draping Shade over that steel post, choking him literally. Shade can't have much left in his tank there for crying out loud. Who's this now? Another ref being dragged to the ring by one of the members of Makeshift Chemistry. I don't know if if this is, a, I guess it's allowable if there's no referee to count. Somebody's got to come in and count, which is what I just asked for. So we have a referee now. Noah opens up the chair. Shade is trying to get back to his feet. Shade, Shade using the chair to 
With that, Shade drops off, and with that, the referee immediately calls it. Referee calls the match. We have a new BBW fighting champion, Noah Anderson, the bastard son, wins the belt. But there you have it. We told you. Ha! We told all of you. Got to go, baby. Nine year anniversary show. Noah Anderson captures his first gold. I will say, admittedly, in perhaps questionable circumstances, when you consider at one point it was a four on one. The original referee gets knocked out. Another referee literally dragged to the ring by a member of Makeshift. But it is the first title for Noah Anderson, who, as I mentioned at the top of this match, started off as a referee, worked his way up. I run the valley now! I call the shot! And now he is the new BBW fighting champion. That's what we're talking about. This is who wants BBW now. 